One can over here, only one. I can't wait to do this. I've got four figures for the cantina to open. Speaking of opening good figures, I opened that yesterday and that is impressive, man. Oof. Get yourself one of them if you want a good Boba Fett figure. But for now, these are figures that I got at the Echo Base Live in August 2021 last year and I still haven't opened them. It's crazy. If I, you know, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Now's the time. So, what it is, is because I'm doing a live episode of the. Um, only one fans show. I'm doing a live show, so I thought, well, the opening figure section I will do here separately just for the channel. And these are them. So I thought I would go with four figures. I've got all I got that time when I bought these at Echo Base. These are the ones I wanted to open most of all because I'll show you why. Boom, over here. Where is it now? That's the wrong one. There you go. Look at this. This is my cantina shelf, and there's loads of so many good characters in here. And though the shelf is Pretty full, I can squeeze in some more there. And these ones, to be opened, are kind of key. So let's have a look at them. This guy appears first, a bit that goes I don't know if that's him who makes that noise, but that's why I always remember him, his head popping up. It's almost like his head is on a spike, but no, on a pole, like, I don't know. But here, here he is, and his name is Hemdazen. Funny, isn't it? But this just looks like a phenomenal figure. This is the 2006, these three are the 2006 Saga collection. And this one goes back to the Power of the Jedi between 2000 and 2001, I believe. It might be 2002, I don't know. But there is he. You see him. This guy, you don't see, see I don't think. You do see, um, if you watch the special edition, in fact, no, not the special edition. If you watch, what's it called now? Empire of Dreams, you see this cricket creature, because Mark Hamill's talking about the Nutcracker suite and all this, and then you see this cricket guy. But you do see something like this in The Mandalorian. Doctor, whatever he's called. He might be a doctor or a professor. Can't remember. But this is Kitik Kid Kak. <laughs> Crazy names. I'll show you the backs of these cards as well. And over here, Mamor Nadan, who I do have on my shelf, but not this version. Look at this. This is what's insane about this. This has to be the best version they've made, right? Hello there, you can see my reflection there. But um, this is if this is 2006, what the hell were they doing in 2007? Because the figure, oh, you see here, is almost like a Reaper. I'll go and get the one I've got from Power of the Force 2. I have one of them unopened, actually. I don't know how I acquired it, but this is almost like the Power of the Force 2 version, but this came with one of these pieces here. You see the, um, the bar, stool, and shelf, but... The figure is nowhere near as good as the one I'm about to open, so what's going to happen with him is he's going to get relegated probably to the barge. I'll put him inside there instead. Don't want to waste anything, but look at this. I can't wait to get him open. Uh, that's all I can say about that. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go and get the other version. Bear with me. Hi, welcome back. In fact, no, I tell you a lie there. This is the one from Power of the Force 2, which is, you know, nice enough, but um, hang on. This fella seems to resemble a figure of that ilk. But isn't exactly it, except they, yeah, they have got the same head sculpt. Different bodies, but I don't understand quite why they've taken a back step in 2007, because that was when the 30th anniversary was. From this, that's brilliant, that's almost as good as a saga. Uh, I beg your pardon, a legacy collection figure. Anyway, the price is on here, £15, 20 15 They are, the, and £6 there. These are the prices that were on offer at the stand I went to at Echo. But there was a really good deal, they said, if you buy X amount of figures, will take 20% off your lot, so they worked out cheaper than these. But that brings me to this final fella, which is I can't wait to get this guy open. I used to love this guy when you saw him in Star Wars. They, they seem so cool, those two guys just chatting. I don't know what they were saying. But um, that is your man, isn't it? Cad Bane. I'd be careful where I went sticking my nose if I were you. I love that line. Can't wait to get him open. There's another character they've never released who is standing with him. This guy is Eloz Madak, and there's another guy too. I think Daniel Chart told me who it was recently because I'm in the middle of answering a question, a complicated question. Somebody asked me for only one fans. They said, which figure has never been brought out before that you want to see released? And he is a character, or his mate is, a character they've never made before. So, in fact, actually, if they did him, they could rethink how they're going to do this fella, where is he? Oh, there he is, Cat Bane right there. 
you know, modern version of him in the real world for Book of Boba Fett, etc. But still, anyway, just before we open them, I'm going to show you the backs of the cards. There you are. Look, oh, look at this. An import sticker, BOE. <laughs> now it makes me not want to open it, but uh, I'm going to. Uh, that's that. And then you've got the cricket guy who's slightly more expensive. 20 pounds this was, well, less. And then you've got there, look at all those great figures there on the back. Awesome. Um, in fact, speaking of this guy, I do have a custom that was given to me. I don't know if Hasbro have ever done it with fully articulated arms, but that was given to me by Lau. And he's customized that. You can see where he's added the silver paint. Brilliant figure. Um, so he's obviously wearing this correct silver costume, but this one here, I think he only has the swivel joint there, I think. I don't know. I don't know if that's ball joints or not, but still, there's him. Uh, and then we have, uh, or her, <laughs> never assume the gender. Look, another import sticker, BOE. This is the back of Mamo and the Don, which is exactly the same as the one for the, uh, for, for Hem Daz in there. Yeah, it is. Looks like a good Mamor Nadan. Apparently the problem with him is he can't sit down, but I don't really want him to. I don't mind him standing around in the uh, cantina. And then finally, this this fella. You get a force file with it. Put the back on there, you see? You got the... Uh, I wouldn't mind that. The cold weather Obi-Wan, which is the tip of the hat to Han Solo, is it not? Yeah. Brilliant. Well, you know, let's get them all open. Let's do it. I'm going to start with this guy. Oh yeah! No disrespect, but I'm just ripping him open, man. Look at that. Awesome. Like that stance. Yeah, nice. And at the end of this video, I'll put them all on the shelf somewhere, maybe. <laughs> just get them out first. Let's do this guy. Quite hard to get open the old uh, 30th... Uh, what are they called now? The Saga Collections, but... Can't wait to get this guy open. And look at the accessories you get inside as well, you see? There's like a brilliant, in fact, I'm gonna just very quickly show you what I am using on this. Uh, I've got a few Easter eggs in there, look at that. Death sticks guy, wanna buy some death sticks? He's got his own little bar to prop on and then I've got Anthony Daniels in there as well. He's got something to lean on. And now this guy also has something to lean on. Still, let's uh, get him open. I don't care, man. I'm just going to rip these open, man. It's made to be open. Ah! Come on. That might annoy a few people that I'm ripping them open like that, but still. There he is. Look at that. Brilliant face. I can't wait to get him out to see if we can ball joint that head. There's a drink there. And blue milk. <laughs> and then he's got this little pedestal thing there, which is nice. I like that. I've got tons of these. Loads of them, there's another one to add to the box. And I will be keeping this, I don't know why I do with the Saga collection, I always keep these little slips, I like these, I've got a massive collection of them as well. And finally, oh look, he's got his own stand, man, nice, look at this. Hem Dazen. And finally, a figure, let's get him out of there. What a wonderful figure, look at this. Absolutely love that. That's so New Hope, isn't it? It's the first alien you see. Maybe not, actually. Is it Laxiv Shivrak in the background? The guy with the red eyes, and then he just pops up. I can't remember now. Brilliant, look at his eyes. And look at his heels as well. That's a uh, swivel joint there, but still. And then he's, uh, yeah, swivel joints. So, yeah, uh, a relic of yesteryear, but I don't care. And that is a ball joint, though, which is good. For the head, at least. Let's keep this moving over. I'm going to save the cricket dude to last because, you know, that is something quite special. But this now next is... Let's just move these back. Uh, this is now Mamon Adana. I'm dying to get this open. Can't wait. Brilliant. Yeah! Mamon Adan. Here he is inside his little protective sleeve or whatever clam. Wow, he's got a staff, much like Bib Fortuna does. But I, I remember reading about this guy. Oh, he's got another one of these. A little uh, pedestal thing. 
stool, well, drinks holder, uh, placer. I remember reading about this guy that he was a horticulturalist and he hid rebels in his home. Which made me think immediately, what a nice guy. Because he looks kind of freakish in a way, like quite scary when I saw him. I was like, wow, look at him. Is he evil? Is he, is he a bad guy? A good guy? But no, clearly a sympathetic to, sympathetic to the rebels. I like the species, they are great. I wouldn't mind that Jedi figure that does that crazy scream that sound vibration guy. Amor Nadan, brilliant, great, isn't it? The Saga collection, at least, because I'm running out of stands actually, but at least I don't have to worry about this guy. He has one, love it. There it is, fantastic. And finally, <laughs> Kittik Keed Kak. <laughs> Kak, it's not the most unfortunate name, but uh, here he is on the back there. Wow, look at that. It looks like he's wearing a grass skirt, dancing the hula. That's definitely Padme Amidala, Queen Amidala at that. And let's get this guy open. Oh, yeah. Crazy cricket dude. Or do that. She might be a, might be a girl. What an interesting alien this is. Has it got a ball? No, it's only got the points of our It's the most expensive figure out of the lot that I have opened that I can see, but it's got not even a ball joint. It's got a swivel there and hin it hinges, swivels there. No hinges, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but still, it's a most impressive looking figure. And I'd love to know more about this species and who exactly this guy is and how it relates to the one we saw in Mando. If somebody's looked into that, but brilliant, look at this. Absolutely superb, fantastic. Really looking forward to getting them on my shelf. Oh, he's got a stand, or she, but uh, I don't think he or she needs it because they stand quite well with the uh, skirted base there. Brilliant character. Over there at the back there is Hem. And then Cad Bane. I mean, you know who, what's he called? Hang on. <laughs> this fella. Alors Madak. Brilliant. Really happy with them. I hope you have enjoyed watching me open those. And I think it only remains for me to put them on the shelf, ladies and gentlemen.